Hi, this is Paul Edmonds at finishyoursong.com. I've got a video for you here on the principles of SENS. Uh, it's the first of three videos. We're going to be looking at some of the uses of SENS in mixing in your DAW. So what is a SEND? Well, previously we looked at an insert being an effect which was placed on a single channel and then the source for that channel was routed through it and picked up that effect and then was passed on to the stereo out. A send is a channel in your mixer which doesn't have a source of its own in the sense of an instrument or a vocal. What it is, it's there to receive the signal from one or more other tracks that are already in play in the mix and to add an effect onto them separate from the signal that's being already fed to the stereo output. The signal from the originating track, in this case the vocal, would be routed to the stereo output, but some of that signal is bled off and fed to the effects channel. And the effects channel is then routed itself to the stereo output. This gives you the ability to balance the effect and the dry signal together with a bit more control than you would have if you simply put an effect on the channel as an insert. However, this isn't a one-to-one -one relationship. You can get multiple channels feeding into a single effect and that gives you much more possibilities. The sharing of an effect has a number of advantages. It can glue the sounds together, whether you're sending uh, signals through either a compressor or a reverb. Um, it also is much less intensive on the CPU of your computer. With modern effects like convolution reverbs, they tend to put a big drain on the processing power of your computer, and having one reverb instead of multiple instances of that reverb is a great saver on the overhead on the computer's processing power. It also has the advantage that if you have multiple tracks going to a single effect and you want to adjust that effect, it gives you the ability to make one change in your DAW that affects all of the tracks, rather than having to go around and replicate that change on each instance of the, um, the effect. So, DAWs have different ways of referring to these tracks. In Pro Tools, it's an AUX track. In Cubase, it's an effects channel. Either way, you create a channel which doesn't, as I say, have an input of its own, but relies for its inputs on the sends from these other channels. So here we have three reverbs set up. A, a reverb for the drums, a vocal plate for the vocals, and a whole verb, which in this instance is being used to provide a much bigger space for a choir that's at the end of this song. The song is It Is Well by Joel Gilder from his Help of the Helpless album, which has been released um, as I'm recording this in May 2013. It's just been re released this month. And as you can see, as we look across the mix, various elements of the mix are being directed to the reverbs. Um, so if we look at a particular channel, if we open for editing the keyboard stereos for example, you will see that there is a send here and what you have here, all of them do it in a different way graphically, but basically this is a fader and the amount of reverb that goes to the amount of signal that goes to the reverb is controlled by this slider and the slider for or the fader for the channel controls the overall amount of reverb from all of these things that are taking you're being fed into it it controls the amount that is present in the final mix 
Now normally you would have these all set at zero, but for this mix, as I was developing the mix, I started to pull back the overall amount of reverb, as I felt the song was getting too washed. And just simply pulling back on this enabled me to, to do that. So if we have a look at the channel settings for this particular reverb, you'll see that we actually have eight sources feeding into what was originally the drum verb. But as I went through mixing, not only did I put through the drums, but I also put through some electric guitars and the toms. And these are fed in varying amounts into the drum verb. And as you can see, you can see the amounts. And in Cubase, we actually have the opportunity to just grab these and adjust them if we want while we're mixing. The reverb units themselves, the plugins, sit on as inserts on the effects channel. And the important thing to bear in mind is that the mix, the balance of dry and wet signal, should be set at 100%. All you want coming out of your effects channel is effect. You don't want any of the dry signal in there. And that's it. That's the basics of sense. Next time, I want to have a look at a particular feature of sense that is mostly used with compressors, and that's the side chain. Until then, take care.